Something you need to know from now if you want to go to fashion school is that you'll be making 12s to the end of time. Going from being a DRA babe and only making something once to twirling an idea and refining it multiple times has definitely been a big adjustment for me. I'm six months into fashion school and so far made four twirls, each getting more and more complicated. Our current brief requires us to make a three-piece outfit or three separate garments. So I've currently narrowed it down to a bomber jacket, cargo pants that turn into shorts, and I'm unsure about the third. But I got time. So she says. Anyway, so on our Monday classes in the studio, we did a tracing patterns class and I traced this bomber jacket that I own that I really like the shape of. Once I completed the first pattern, she was cute, but I wanted to make her bigger, bolder, more dramatic. It will be bold, dramatic, yeah. heroic. Yeah, something classic. This was my inspo. The brand is called Seventh. I'm obsessed with every piece that they have and I want to own every tracksuit that they sell. So I went back to the sewing room and got a standard bomber jacket block as requested by my lecturer. The second one was cute but very lackluster. I wanted the sleeves to be bigger and diagonal on the chest. So I went back to the drawing board, redesigned the block pattern from school and sewed my third twelve. Finally, I had a shape I wanted. Then I had to go on and decide the design that I wanted on my bomb jacket. I've been toying around with multiple variations of patchwork. My main idea was to do circular patchwork, but I chickened out and decided to do hexagons instead because I didn't want to figure out how to do the patterns for the circular, slash thought it would take too long. Only for me to scrap the hexagon idea completely because it was too literal to my project and lacked creativity in terms of design, in my opinion. I finally went onto the shell of my cargoes. This took me less time than twirling the three bomber jackets, but still took a fair amount of time. I did sew it wrong almost three times, sewed the leg upside down, back to front, and I finally got it in the end. I decided to incorporate a zip fly into my cargoes, so I had to figure out that. Doing a zip fly isn't my expertise. I've only done it a couple of times. So I was very much so avoiding the idea of doing it. But I finally got there in the end. I was finally happy with my two shells. This is what they turned out like. Obviously, I still have a lot of refinements to do to both of them. But this was the main premise of what they wanted us to do in regards to our designs. And then slowly refine it as we keep going. So as the weeks go by, you guys will see more and more twirls. I have a way more to go and way more designs to do but yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please do give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe down below if you haven't already if you guys are new to the channel and i'll see you in my next video peace